Well, hello, everybody. Um, I have my uh, Halloween uh, nails done, and I just really, um, I was trying them out, and I think they look great. And um, they remind me of my friend Lucia, although hers are more beautiful and not as exaggerated, but I just think they're so pretty. So today, the haul is going to be on the rummage sale um, finds from the um, Thrift With Me at the Yellow Frame Church rummage sale video. So I have the box here. I actually bought this box as well, and we're going to go through it. And I haven't looked at anything in detail. It is as um, I brought it is exactly like it was when I brought it into the house. Uh, so I haven't looked at it at all. I haven't picked through it. We're going to be doing this together. And um, it's all just shoved in there, so let's get at it. So the first thing, oh, this. This came from another video, actually. This was the uh, Thrift With Me uh, at the Church Thrift Shop video. So that's another video. So that's for another day. But let's get into this. Okay, hopefully I won't hurt myself or kill myself. I feel my hands. Oh gosh, I forgot about this. Okay. Oh, this is going to be a fun one. There's so much here. Grab your beverage now. Make that hot cup of tea. Oh yeah, it's hard with the nails. Oh boy. Okay. So, put this down. Here, I'm going to put it all out, actually. I see the wisdom in that now. Instead of trying to reach in with the pointy fingers okay so yeah i'm gonna leave these inside their bags all right so we'll do the bags first these these are that dipped in gold uh leaf i've seen them in pendants once in a while i come across the earrings in good condition these are actual leaves that were dipped in I think it was high carat gold, like 24 karat gold or something, like real 24 karat gold. It's very 1970s. They're very pretty. And already I'm having a fail. <sighs> Come on now. Come on. Okay. There it is. Okay. There they are. They're so pretty. And that's actually real. Real leaf, real gold. So that'll be... Um, in this week's auction. The auctions are Wednesday and Friday at 7 p.m. Eastern. And um, again, this is just the haul video. This is not the proper preview. The proper preview with more details will be coming out tomorrow. Oh my goodness. 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 There really is something to this. <laughs> Come on now. Oh, there it is. Okay. All right. I'll get better at this as we go. I love these. I thought that these might be silver. This It feels like it. The kind of tell work and the way the metal feels. Um, and I love the size of them. Okay. So, I mean, if they're not, what are they? They're really well done and they're heavy and they're nice. Um, so these are coming up. These are fantastic. Oh, I just realized I'm holding them upside down. Okay, there. So these are coming up. These are, these are fantastic. Okay. Next, we have, this is a treasure. I actually knew this was a treasure um, when I got it and she ended up giving it to me. She was like, oh, I'll just throw it in, which was amazing. Um, okay, and it is marked with the good mark, Toshikani, Japan. So there you go. And it's a nice one. It's a very, very nice one. All right, so we got that. And then we have, let's see what's in here. 
Ooh, okay, I remember this. This is one of the first things I got on the table. Um, it's a gold, it's got a barrel clasp, so you can open it this way and then it comes down with a fob and there's a chain hanging from it. So this is really an element and this I'm sure I will not be putting in the auction because these I use these kind of elements for my own things. So you might see it eventually, but it won't be sold by itself. But it's a wonderful thing to find to have. Then we have sterling, sterling box chain. There's the back of it. And then there's the front, very sparkly. And we'll find out more about what that is um, definitely by auction time. By auction time, Wednesday uh, at 7, first auction, we will know what all of this is. If it's not immediately um, apparent. This I think I have to test. It does look like gold to me. And it feels like gold and... The hook is definitely one that was used. It's probably Vermeil, you know, it's that typical hook. But these look very anthropology. Very nice, very, very nice. So those, let me know, please comment in the chat and let me know what things you would like to see in this week's auction. I love these. These are high end. This is blue. I don't know if you can see this. This is a very uh, crystal blue. You can see right through it. And these are stones. And this is definitely silver. Yes, there's the mark. So we'll be looking at these further. These are gorgeous. I'm going to try and get the blue in there. There it is. So these are wonderful. Also, I have to use the back of my hand because otherwise you can see my, my nails underneath the Halloween nails. Okay, there you go. Beautiful. Next, these I know are sterling and amber. I recognize them on site, um, just at the table. And the interesting thing is they were second time around. I almost feel like someone put them down after I thought I was done. Look, no, oh, wait, I wanna show the back of the hand. The back of the hand. Oh, I can't do it. Oh, do it like that. Hold on. So you actually need short nails to do something like this or it looks really weird. Okay, there they are. See the different colors of amber? Look how cool. Love those. These are just simple costume. They're so, they're pretty well made though, and they're very 80s and they're my colors. So I, um, I had to get them. But they are extremely well made. Uh, enameled, that fuchsia hot, you know, that Scaparelli pink and black there and then I picked these up I have this magnetic bracelet that I wear and they they weren't immediately magnetized and the thing is color you know the um, the post is the same color as the earring so these might be nice little vintage gold hoops I got those this is one of the first things I picked. I love this so much. Don't you love this? Look how beautiful. Oh, that's how you do it. You turn your hand like that. Okay, gorgeous. Little things in here. I don't know if I'll be able to get them out. <laughs> uh, okay, not bad. Just 
Okay, so, right, the silver pansies. I actually had in my mind that I would keep these because pansies are my favorite flower and they're so easy to wear. Um, but I believe that they are sterling. Okay. Then I love these, the tiger eye hoops. That's probably a gold post. These are very nicely made. And then I found this and I thought I caught it because um, it's a very well made setting. You see, you see that setting? It's, uh, it's not like the kind that come tend to a card. So I picked that up and then these, these look very nice. Um, nice color on the metal. So I picked those up as well. Um, I didn't want, I didn't take a lot of time. Oh, and then she put this one in because there was no matching one to that one. So I was like, okay. Um, and then this, this is lovely. Th see, this looks like, this really looks like a little diamond stud that someone hung something from. I mean, look at the construction of that very closely. So I'm excited to look into that further. I do have the set. Then we have, okay, we have this. Um, this is one of the last things that I got. I love this. Um, it reminds me very much of Iris Apfel's things. It's a three strand. Okay. Um, and it's uh, clear green lucite links, uh, the, the mariner links with the other links. So that's wonderful. Then we have this, this is fun, like a striped inlaid different color shell. So that's very, very cool, love that. Uh, and that's a larger ring. Then we have this one, uh, that's like in the stone. I just, I, I thought the construction of this was very interesting. Um, it's large and it looks vintage to me. It's like a saddle ring. Okay. And then this, this was like when I really started to freak out when I saw these. Oh, okay. The first one, the clasp is great. This is probably old Monet. I will look at it further or something, but look at these pearls. This is excellent. This, you can't find these new. You really can't. They don't even make like even the high end uh, uh, bijou houses, you know, YSL doesn't make them as good as, as the bridge made them back then. So that's fabulous. And then, oh, I didn't realize I got this. Oh, I'm so glad because I was like regretting when I was doing the editing, I was regretting not getting this so I could look at it further um, because it looked faux to me when I was there in that lighting, but in the editing, the pearls looked real. So more about that later. It does have the temperature of uh, actual silver. So this is, this might be like a sleeper total score. And I almost didn't get this. <laughs> okay. And then the other one, the other fave. <sighs> Look how beautiful. Um, the crystal stations and the Baroque pearls. And I mean, this is how you do it. You know, you, you wear them together. So that, then that was the first drawer. Now we're gonna go to the second drawer. Okay, this, I love this. This was the second thing that I picked. Ooh. Hello, and this actually was the first thing that I picked. So these are wonderful. I feel like I have seen things like this green one I feel like I might have seen this and loved it 
in red and it turned out to be um, Avon. Oh, it's well, it's well tangled over there. So, okay, I'll separate it later. So I will look at that and let you know, but look how lovely. I mean, this is nice glass. I, I somehow think not, um, but it's wonderful. And then we have this. This was the second thing I picked, and this is Sodalite Genuine Stone. Also lovely for layering. All right, and that has a mark and it says Chico's. So it's a genuine stone made by Chico's, lovely quality. Then we have this, this was the first, there was a lot of tassels there. I feel like someone really liked tassels. So look, look at this. Isn't that beautiful? And it does have the thing, I believe this is for Talbots, but I love that one. Wait, how do you do it? Oh, you go, uh, I know, you go, oh, I love that one. And you hold it up without the nails. Okay, there it is. Then, Let's see what else is in here. Oh yes, okay, so these are the ones that I got together. These both are exactly the same. This is more tassels. Okay, I'll try and separate it. Ooh, this is not gonna be easy. Oh, okay. <laughs> Look how lovely, I love this. So this is actually styled after, it's a copy of Judith Ripka. Judith Ripka made these in um, silver and gold over silver, but it's like an exact copy. It's such good quality. J. Crew. Oh, that's what the other one was, of course, J. Crew. So there it is. Um, there you go. Double tassel. like that okay and then we have the second one just like it so how fun uh, to get them both and wear them together or to get them and give them as a gift right and this one still has the tag i wonder if there's a price on it i did not check there is let's see what the price says Oh, $40, $39.50. Such good quality though. Beautiful, beautiful old J. Crew. Okay, then this, this is actually from the Come Thrift With Me at the Church Thrift. So that's not for this haul, but this was from the Rummage Sale Day. So I grabbed these. Great. And this, I had already stopped videotaping when I pulled this, um, but it's so beautiful. It's one of those um, antique ones, a long length. Some people call them flappers. Uh, this is all glass. Look how beautiful. So this is wonderful for layering. And then this one, this one I know goes with these over here. This is the big crystals. Look at the big crystals. This very much looks like Vendome to me. Oh my gosh, this is a good one. Or it could be one of the higher lines of Trafari. Or no, is it marked? I don't see a mark. Okay, anyway, look. at that so that's coming up marvelous wait let's try and show the pretty nails 
that's now you gotta hold it close okay that's coming up okay okay is there anything else yes this came from there also Here's that let's just get it all out okay. oh yeah this other bag and and that's it okay so just a few things left i loved this the cloisonne this is uh clearly the real 1970s cloisonne uh, I can clearly see that. It, I know that Les Bernard made things like this, um, but it has a better clasp. It has the old sterling uh, clasp, the old gold over sterling, the verme. So beautiful, lovely. And these are cold, so we'll find out what that is. And then the last two things, these are very random. These are silver, and it's a napkin holder and a spoon. And I wanted to buy just the napkin holder because I never saw one constructed like this, like that it stands. And I think that with what I do, I could really use this for display somehow, you know, some interesting way. So I tried just to get this, but they said I had to take the spoon too. So I got this and the spoon, which is stuck in the bag. Hold on, wow, it's really stuck. It's kind of a pointy spoon. Okay, there it is. There you have it. So thank you everyone for watching. And um, I will see you. Proper preview is up on Tuesday. And then we're going to auction. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments, what your favorite is, what you'd like to see come to auction. Um, and it'll be Wednesday and Friday at 7. All right. Thank you. Bye, everybody.